So I did a video previously. It was on whether the Hamas missiles are actually can actually contain warheads, because it doesn't look like they do. It looks like they're glorified fireworks, essentially big smoke bombs, if anything, and they don't have explosive warheads in them. And then uh, taking it one step further. The more I looked into the phony Hamas rockets that are Hamas is a group controlled by Israel, was created by Israel, the more I found out that the whole Iron Dome defense system, in fact, is basically just rockets that shoot up in the air and then explode. They don't actually hit any, they don't intercept anything. And it sounds kind of crazy at first, but the more you look into it, actually, the, the, there's a lot of proof out there that Iron Dome itself is in fact a hoax. So why would they do that? Why would they fake um, intercepting Hamas rockets? Well, A, the Hamas rockets themselves don't exist to such a great extent we were told, and B, it instills a sense of security, sense of pride, and also, also the most important C, is the Israeli people feel they're under constant attack but their government is able to um, help save them. But it's important to feel like you're under constant attack, otherwise you're not going to just go and genocide a whole bunch of Palestinians. So what proof is there that the uh, Hamas rockets are fake? Well, the lack of proof is actually proof, because if they claim that there's so many hundreds of missiles being fired, there should be some images of buildings that got blown up. There should be images of missiles that are exploding and causing actual damage. The videos we see, if you do a search, it looks like a smoke bomb. And this gas station video is a good example. This is, a, this is one of the few proof of Hamas mi missiles we actually see. And notice how it creates an enormous smoke bomb and there isn't any damage to the asphalt. That is a pretty shitty bomb. That's not even a real rocket. That's just a big smoke bomb. And but then you look further and the Iron Dome system, what it does, it doesn't actually you never see the Hamas mi missiles. You never see the Hamas rockets. You only see the Iron Dome rockets going out and exploding. And the more I looked into it, the more even Israelis are pointing out that the Iron Dome system is in fact a big hoax. It doesn't work like we were told it does. In fact, it doesn't actually do much of anything. All it does is send up rockets that explode in the air and don't actually intercept anything. So, at first, yeah, it sounds like sounds like bullshit, but check it out. It is an Israeli-designed, American-funded breakthrough in military technology. All just possibly a kind of optical illusion. Iron Dome is a missile defense system credited by Israel with destroying nearly 90% of the rockets fired at it during the last conflict with Palestinian militants in Gaza. One, two. Not everyone's convinced. Three. Because the incoming rockets are invisible no, to the don't. naked eye, a handful of skeptics no, say that what clear. we're witnessing Simple may simply be the Iron Dome missiles themselves self-destructing the without road. hitting anything. I don't know exactly what happened, but I raise the question marks and I, do, I, I would like to have an answer. I asked the IDF, show me your uh, videos, your infrared videos in which you can see almost everything. But they said it's classic. These Iron Dome missiles, filmed by a wedding photographer, were aimed at rockets fired from Gaza. Israelis believe Iron Dome can protect them from other enemies too. In uncertain times across the Middle East, they hope that seeing is believing. Kevin Connolly, BBC News, Jerusalem. So this news clip ends with a whole bunch of rockets flying into the air, Iron Dome rockets. And you can see their uh, trails, you see the, the, the trails of the Iron Dome rockets, and they all explode kind of like fireworks, but you don't see any actual trails from the alleged Hamas rockets that they're intercepting. That's kind of funny, isn't it? And it's funny how almost every single one of these Iron Dome rockets blows up, um, supposedly intercepting a uh, Hamas rocket, 
the whole thing is just uh, you got to start wondering: Is this just? Are they just launching basically fireworks? Is Iron Dome basically a fireworks system that goes up there and makes a loud explosion, and the Israelis feel like they intercepted a Hamas rocket? To intercept them in the middle of the way, in the air, in order to protect the people. כן, נופלים. אבל לא, גם מיירטים אותם, תראו. אני יודע. יש אבל פיצוצים, יש פיצוצים. תעבור אליי. הנה האזעקה. תעבור להוציא להם את האזעקה. בוא איתנו, בוא. בוא איתנו, בוא. תשמע, תשמע איזה פיצוצים. וואי, זה פה, יד בא. וואי, וואי, זה פה, יא גנוב. בוא, בוא, כנסו, כנסו. בוא, בוא, זה פה, קירי. זה הכיפת ברזל נראה לי, לא? Okay, so that was supposed proof that they were under bombardment by missiles. However, there's of course no explosions. The kids are all smiling and laughing, and then they walk out afterwards, and there's some puff balls in the air. What I can say is it's first of all not a 100% solution. This man claims that a rocket just hit the building. However, it's interesting that the news agency there doesn't zoom in on any sort of damage to the building. And all we see is some water on the ground and maybe the grass looks disturbed. Even that's hard to tell. But why aren't they showing any actual damage if damage actually occurred from this Hamas rocket? What the... אתם שומעים את ניר דבורי? כל הקהל ייכנס עכשיו לתוך העולם למרחב מוגן, חבר'ה, יש לנו מעל הראש, ייכנס לאולם, כולם! So again, we see the trail of the Iron Dome rocket, and we hear a loud explosion, yet we never see any trail from the alleged Hamas rocket. Funny how that happens in every single video, isn't it? And I'm uh, going to finish this one off with, of course, a challenge to you to prove to me, to show me any footage of an Iron Dome rocket hitting a... Uh, hitting a Hamas rocket and it should be easy enough to prove that two rockets are hitting each other you're seeing one rocket but you're not seeing the other rocket how's that work okay here's a, here's a interesting article from an Israeli who's not a complete sellout genocide artist like a lot of them are Israeli expert says Iron Dome defense is a hoax an Israeli scientist and award-winning security expert has called the Iron Dome missiles defense system the biggest hoax the world has ever seen I guess he hasn't heard of 9-11 but According to Dr. Mahdi Sheffer, today there is no missile which can intercept other missiles or rocket-propelled grenades, and the Iron Dome is a light audio system which blocks Israeli public opinion, and of course itself. In fact, all the explosions that we have seen in the atmosphere are self-destruction, just like what I've been saying here. The Iron Dome did not launch any rocket that could intercept at least one missile fired from Gaza. Of course, we know the truth about these alleged missiles fired from Gaza. They're basically emptied out metal hollow tubes. Sheffer added the concept of open areas is a myth created to amplify the Iron Dome's ability as a missile interceptor. He made an indirect accusation against the Dome's operating staff of misleading the public. The missiles which were intercepted by the Iron Dome and did not reach the ground are hypothetical missiles produced and destroyed in the Dome's computer control room. As of this moment, nobody has seen an intercepted missile fall to the ground. Totally believe it. If it happened, there would be tons of video proof. The news would be all over it. But there hasn't been any proof. There's no... there's nothing. 
The scientist made his comments after challenge. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So anyway, it's an interesting, <laughs> it's a very interesting article. Um, that's by the Middle East Monitor. And I believe every single word there because I haven't seen any proof at all that these Iron Dome rockets are intercepting anything. And especially during nighttime, you would expect to see a trail... Uh, it takes some sort of propulsion system for a rocket to fly through the air, and that burns very brightly. And there, you never see any sort of propulsion system from the alleged Hamas missiles that the Iron Dome system is intercepting. Furthermore, they say that Israelis are, are safe because of the advanced warning system that they get these automated uh, warnings that a, a rocket's coming in. Maybe these are just the um, the fictional computer-generated rockets that the Iron Dome system is supposedly blowing up, but in fact never existed in the first place. Um, the, and like the man says, the missiles which were intercepted by the Iron Dome and did not reach the ground are hypothetical missiles produced and destroyed in the Dome's computer control room. So the whole reason of Iron Dome is to stop non-existent missiles from hitting Israel and create the, the rage... Uh, and the public opinion for an excuse for the invasion of Gaza and any other parts of Palestine that exist, and there's few of those left. Because without some sort of aggression by the Palestinians and by the uh, Hamas forces which are created and controlled by Israel, there would be no justification for the invasion of Gaza, and Israel would look even more like a genocidal asshole than they already do. So, anyway, look into it for yourself. If you can find any proof of a uh, Iron Dome missile hitting a Hamas missile, I would love to see it because I don't think there is any proof. And I think Iron Dome is basically a big fireworks system that the U.S. taxpayer is paying billions of dollars into. And I'm deeply proud that President Obama helped make it possible. And I'm proud that with his enthusiastic support, the United States will more than double our investment in Iron Dome in 2015. In the U.S. media, news anchors, pundits, politicians have extolled the efficacy of the Iron Dome in deflecting the barrage of Hamas rockets that put Israeli lives at risk. Iron Dome is working. It's minimized casualties uh, and fatalities. Red flash as it intercepts the rocket. Now this defense system is proving hugely successful. Rockets begin coming through the sky the night sky and you see rockets come across the sky and then you see Iron Dome interceptors come up and explode the rockets. The Iron Dome anti-missile system did its job tracking the missiles, hitting them head on, destroying them. As we gazed overhead, we saw the interceptor missiles, the Iron Dome system doing its job. At least three of those rockets shot down just a few moments ago. Saying Iron Dome is not responsible for um, the low casualty rate for Israelis. Why? Well, the low casualty rates are due to uh, an extremely effective system of early warning and sheltering. There are shelters all over Israel that have been built by the government. People have shelters in their homes by law. And there's a warning system that tells you that a rocket might be traveling in your direction. So all you need to do is get into the shelter and into a shelter. And uh, even if the rocket hits your house, you will not be killed. So what if this whole system warning you of uh, alleged incoming rockets was just telling you about simulated rockets, simulated fake rockets that were coming in, and then they'd be shot down by the exaggerated firework Iron Dome system that just makes loud explosions, and everybody's in their bomb shelter so they can't see the non-rockets being shot down. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I think there's enough information here to start a good dialogue, and... Um, if you can prove me wrong about Iron Dome being a fat scam, shooting down nothing, and just serving as a uh, way to indoctrinate the Israeli people and feeling they're under constant attack but saved by their glorified government and also fleece the American taxpayers for billions of dollars, I'd like to see it. If anybody can provide even one video of a rocket being intercepted with another rocket that's visible, please share it.